Welcome to our video on filling out our static wind mitigation form on an iMac. I have this open on my iMac and as you can see we'll start from the top up here reset form this clears the form completely where you can start over again. Uh, print form uh, that gives you a drop-down box uh, and tells you that you can print the form on whatever list of printers you've got. Up here you'll see it turns into a little hand. That's a spot to put your logo. So you, you would just uh, Go to wherever you're keeping your logos. You can double click and it'll throw it right in there. Right here, you're going to put your company name. And down here, you have little text boxes where you can put in your your address and your telephone number, your email address, that kind of thing. Over here you can put in a, uh, say you want to have a, a, a picture of the house. Here's a good one. Uh, and again, any other additional information that you want down here. Now starting at the top of the form, we've got a drop-down box that gives the date, today's date. So you can easily put in today's date or any other date you want in there. And then you just go through and fill out the form as needed. To uh, put a check in a checkbox, just click on it, take it out, just click back off. You'll notice that uh, if you put your initials in here and your property address up there, it will automatically populate the other pages. So again, you just continue down the form, fill out the form. When you get to the end, we've got drop-down boxes again for the date, a place to electronically uh, insert your signature. You get an option to configure the digital ID. You click on that and you'll go through that process to set up your digital ID one time and then once you're done with that you're done. Then we get down to the picture pages. So we come down here to a picture page and we click here and that'll give you a, uh, an option to pick out some pictures. And once you've got your picture in place, you can come down to this uh, drop-down box here and click on description of what it is. You can also type in a custom description. This form has 18 pictures. So you want to fill out this part of the form first and put in down here all your information 
and then save that under a different name such as my wind mitigation form. And that way, every time you open it, you'll have your logos. By the way, there's a couple other spots for logos here. As you can see, one here and one on this side. When you're finished with the form, you want to save it under the customer's name. So you're going to go File, Save As, and then save it under the customer's name. And then you want to open it up in Preview and flatten the file. That will reduce the file size down, including large picture files, into a very small file that you can email to the customer. Uh, you'll have to go into Preview to flatten it on a Mac. And you can go online and see how to work Preview on any of various tutorials out there on YouTube. This form will save you a ton of time over the years. It makes the whole process of filling out a wind mitigation report much, much easier. So uh, enjoy and good luck.